It's time to pack up. We're going on a trip with camels into the Sahara. We're outside Duz in central Tunisia. Duz is known as the gateway to the Sahara. We're with a group of French tourists. They're going to be going for 14 days walking with these fully loaded camels through the Sahara Desert. <laughs> Before setting off, the trekkers don their headgear and get acquainted with their companions. <laughs> Some of whom aren't thrilled at the prospect of a very long walk. <laughs> These are seasoned trekkers. At the head of the pack, retired insurance agent Joël Fouillatier, who lives in the French Alps. Uh, oui, oui, je suis très sportive. For Joël, this isn't tiring. It's just a walk in the desert. Uh, ben, pour moi, c'est une nouvelle expérience. For me, it's a new experience, she says. I'm used to the high mountains, but I've heard so much about Tunisia, so I thought to go for a change and see what it's like in the desert. <laughs> This is the ultimate no-frills holiday. Plenty of sand and sun, the sea and a hot shower, however, are nowhere in sight. This kind of adventure tourism is becoming increasingly popular in places like Tunisia, with some tourists going for as much as a month into the Sahara on camelback and on foot. In the desert, there's no housekeeping, no room service. You set up your own tent. You do your own washing up, soap and water not included. When you're in the desert, there's not a lot of water. They have to conserve their water because they're on a long trip. So how do you wash your silverware? Well, in fact, there's a lot of stuff you can do it with. You just fill it with your bowl with sand. You scrape it all around like this, and uh, that's how you do it. You just scrape whatever gunk might be in your bowl. And then you just wipe it with the napkin that you've been provided with. Clean. The bread is baked daily on the premises. Camel driver Abul Hassan mixes the dough, nothing fancy, just flour, water, and salt. It then goes into a bed of hot coals in the sand. He covers it up. And 20 minutes later, the bread is ready. You don't come all the way out here for creature comforts. The Sahara is the ideal getaway, says veteran desert guide Mohammed Ben Saad. People who have tired of civilization come here to the Sahara, he says, to get away and forget pressures and stress. Here there's calm, there's nature. Out here, you can't make out even the faintest echo of the cacophony of modern life. I adore the desert, says gym teacher Marie-Paul Luguez. It's a change of pace. There's no hustle and bustle, no cars. It's a rest for the body and the soul. At the end of each day, tea is brewed over the fire. Dinner is simple. Song and dance by campfire, the only entertainment. These people aren't looking for more. Je recommanderais la Tunisie pour l'accueil. I would recommend Tunisia to anyone. The scenery is magnificent. Whoever loves the sand will be happy to come to the Sea of Sand, the Sea of Dunes. It's a holiday with only the bare essentials, lacking for absolutely nothing. Ben Wiedemann in the Sahara Desert for Inside the Middle East.